the school came from fairly humble beginnings to fairly quickly rise up to be a formidable presence nationally. very lucky thing over the decades to have what we call giants and for us in succession to stand on their shoulders and to become famous across the world. So we have a global reputation which continues today. The move went very amicably, it went very uh, successfully and uh, it brought to the Faculty of Engineering this huge research culture that both David Trim and Chris Fell, and perhaps I could say uh, a little uh, brought to uh, the university in, in, in research in, in the School of Chemical Engineering and Industrial Chemistry. David was my lecturer. He was my head of school and my colleague, and uh, he was also a great friend. Most of us, including myself, would not be where we are now if it's not because of his support and his guidance. And uh, I believe he had led and shaped the school to become one of the most uh, prestigious schools in the country. <laughs> Australia's largest companies started sending us their cadets. So for a long time, we had cadets sponsored by BHP, CSR and others. There were some excellent people amongst the staff and it, it shows up because they attracted Commonwealth Centres of Excellence. And I guess with three centres of excellence or major parts thereof, in the school, we were well ahead of the opposition, uh, sorry, the competition. UNSW had strength was it was always heavily imbued with the application side. The Manuo Mente bit of the university motto was alive and well and because of that it actually won out quite strongly and because it chased research quite hard and applied that research then I think it has been a successful school. When we look at the big global challenges, energy, water, health, we are an essential part of the solution. <laughs>